Hi there, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. Um, today's edition is from Atlas. It's a 143rd scale Panzerwaffe 42 Maltier or Mule. It's German for Mule. It was a uh, German half track made by Opel that mounted a uh, 15 centimeter 10 tube rocket launcher, the Nubelwaffe, I think it was called. It was in service during World War II from 1943 until the war's end. Um, so as you can see, it's still brand new on plastic. Well, um, We'll get this open so we can all have a have a look and see if it's any good. Jeez, I didn't cut it all. I don't know what I cut into. So as we get this off, around 300 of these were built, so serving on both the east and western fronts. It was intended as a uh, infantry support vehicle. It would engage targets effectively from probably around 4,000 to 6,000 meters or six and a half thousand meters. Um, geez, a lot of plastic on here that's really not wanting to come off. <laughs> Just throw that to the side. So a bit stuck to the box, that's a bit weird. Never had that before. Um, I suppose it was uh, Germany's answer to, you know, the Russian Katyusha, or Stalin's organ. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll uh, get this open. Um, if it would let me. But, you know, doing a video, let's just make it hard. <laughs> um, I'll just rip that. Sorry about that. Oh, well. Pull that out. So that's the backing box. It comes in a nice uh, protective Perspex cover, which is pretty good. Um, it's got the screws on there to keep it mounted onto the base. So if we take that protective cover off, put that at the back there. And we'll just try and have a little bit of a good look at this vehicle. So as you can see, it's got some nice detail there. Um, tracks are nice, sort of pliable. But front wheels do move. It's got some little accessories. The paint paintwork on it's quite nice. It's um, as you can see, size-wise, it's it, it is reasonably well sized. Um, never worth a cannons there. Uh, I don't know if that turns or manipulates so I don't want to me smash hulk it and rip it rip it in half I do have a habit of snapping things if I do touch them a bit too too aggressively <laughs> um, so but the front front wheels do seem to rotate it's got some um, unit markings on the front and license plate markings if you can see that detail there I'll just spin that around I'll just try and get a bit of a look underneath it's Hard when it's on the base. It's look at a little bit of under undercarriage uh, detail there. Um, the tracks and suspension and everything like that's got some nice detail on that. And um, storage boxes. It's got the late war camouflage scheme on it. So oh, it's no, it's pretty good. Pretty good looking unit. I paid $40. Um, that was including postage and GST because I bought it from an overseas seller. Obviously on the base it's got the particulars of the vehicle. Um, doesn't have any unit unit specifications on it but it's just the uh, exact particulars of the vehicle of what it is. Um, you could find out the unit um, by checking out the markings on, on the vehicle itself. It does have those on there. Um, it's got a cool, cool little M MG34 sitting up top. That's um, Obviously going to be very breakable, so you'd have to be pretty careful with that while you're uh, unboxing or putting it on the shelf. But uh, for yeah, forty odd dollars Australian to my door, I think that's pretty reasonable for the actual model itself. You can feel that the body is is all die cast. Obviously, the um, noble Werfer, the rockets are plastic. The smaller items are all plastic, but the main body itself is cold to the touch, so it's all die cast. So yeah, would I recommend it? Yeah, definitely cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, all the colours match, plastic parts match with the metal parts, all coloured nice. So had an issue with an ISU or SU-122. Um, if you've already seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, where the metal and plastic parts, they're, the same, they're meant to be the same colours. They didn't quite match properly, which was a bit strange to me. But um, this particular model, perfect. Yep, not a drama at all. Um, matches well. I think it's a pretty good example of what I assume there are not going to be too many different types of 143rd scale Panzerwerfers around. Um, but yeah, definitely pretty cool bit of kit. Uh, I would I would definitely yeah say get one in your collection. Presents well, um, nice nice size, nice weight. 
and uh, yeah definitely yeah I reckon it's pretty cool so yeah if you don't have one of these get one on get one on your shelf if you can find one I got this uh, off a seller as I said from overseas uh, through eBay um, but yeah definitely so as per usual uh, at the end of this video I'll chuck up some still photos without uh, these sausage fingers in the way and uh, so you can get some proper close-ups of the actual vehicle itself and uh, so that yeah, you can get a better idea for yourself without these fingers in the way so yeah um, if you found this video helpful yeah give us a little like if you can spare the time to and once again thank you very much for uh, watching our video and um, yeah I hope you have a great rest of your day. So this was the uh, 143rd scale Panzerwaffe 42 Maltier by Atlas. So yeah, cheers.